and because I can't finish the wires at the moment because my husband's at work, I thought I would start with the CDs, most of these are mine anyway. Um, and obviously I've got my DVD drive to put them onto my computer. I have my little helper just over here. But as well as doing the CDs, if I have time, I'll probably start on this. Some of these are computer discs, which I don't think we need all of them. Some of them are photo CDs, which technically they'd be sentimental as would my old YouTube videos. A lot of them that don't even exist online anymore because I took them down. Um, but I'll probably go through them as well today. Because to me they're still CDs, whatever they've got on, they're still CDs and... I don't know, I think I'd have... Maybe I'm a bad person, but I think I could have done the sentimental section quite easily. So there's a lot of things I do actually want to get on with with that, so I might do that as well. So I've just finished doing or uploading the music from the CDs onto my laptop. I still have my daughter up from a nap on the bed. It took me about two and a half hours. It probably took me longer, actually. Um, my daughter's really, really poorly again today. So it was a lot of stopping and starting. I haven't actually um, sort of edited the music that's now on my laptop. I like to change what tags they are so they fit in the categories that me and my husband use for them. Um, also, I like to make sure they've got the album covers. Uh, so when I put them on my iPod and we use it in the car, it has the right covers because that is just a really bugbear for me. These are my CDs and as long as I get what I've just uploaded backed up onto my hard drive and also my husband's computer, I'll be letting these go. There's 16 here. And the reason I'm doing that is that over the years, I have had probably about seven laptop crashes, if not more, and two hard drive crashes that have wiped all my music. I used to have probably 5,000 music tracks. And at the moment, before doing these, I have 500. So, big difference. These are the CDs keeping. There's five here, and these are actually my husband's. Um, there's Bing Crosby one I got him for Christmas. There's a Santana one, and three Nickelback CDs, because he actually really likes Nickelback, so. Now I'm just gonna start going through these. These are old CDs from old YouTube. I actually started doing YouTube in 2012, but I don't think there's any videos older than maybe 2014. So I'm just going to watch these, see if there's anything I actually want to keep. I doubt it, but I will double check anyway. And just a quick update just to show you all of those old YouTube videos have just gone in the bin. I am technically starting this a little bit early because I haven't actually got on to the sentimental section. I've been doing my CDs today, however I won't be posting this bit until the sentimental section because obviously it goes with all that, but I'm going through old photo CDs. Some of them I'll just be getting rid of straight away like these two I know are in a like a video format, even though the photo so I can't get any off that I might want to keep. So they can go, this one I've just gone through and I don't know if you can see, but just taking a few of the photos off there, not very many. So out of all of these that are so far definitely going, this is from 2005 and 2009, so before I met my husband, I've kept 41 photos. I'm sure there was others on here that I would have liked to keep, but I for some reason did them in a photo show format, so I can't get the photos off these discs. I don't want to keep the discs for maybe one or two photos I would have liked from each one of them, because it's the past and... While it's nice to have the memories, I don't need all of them. And as I said, I don't see the point in keeping all these CDs when there's like one or two photos I would like to keep. The only one I am keeping is this one. This is from when I went to the stuff actually with my ex fiance, but it's very, very special. It was my first holiday abroad as an adult if you will, I'd only been abroad once or twice before so this is still very very special to me so I am going to keep this. So whilst I'm going through my photo CDs I've also decided to take everything down off Facebook and upload just the ones that I'm keeping on those CDs. Sorry if this is a little dark, it's now half nine at night, I've been at this for hours so I'm stopping for tonight. 
Even Iago thinks it's time to go to bed. So I've got 11 more CDs. I've done these are ones since I've been with my husband. I've also been working through our wedding photos, which took a long, long time because I had two albums of wedding photos and I've consolidated that down into one album with the best photos. As I said, I've actually been, I've taken down all my photos from Facebook and I'm re-uploading them as well to coincide with the photos I've kept physically, I suppose, or digitally, whatever way you want to look at it. So I'm just going to be binning them and packing up for the night. Yesterday our daughter was much too poorly for us to do anything with sorting, but she's having a nap now and I'm just going to carry on with the photos, so I'm up to 2012. I've even gone through engagement, photo shoot and wedding, um, our wedding day so far. So yeah, I'm being pretty ruthless. Now I wanted to just do a very quick um, little mention here. I'm still going through the photos. These are actually ones that weren't on CDs. These are just digital photos that I have from this year. I haven't found any of this process particularly hard. Maybe arduous, but not actually hard. Except when I came to do last December, so December 2015 doing the photos then I got quite emotional because a lot of it was from when a lot of things started to go wrong in my pregnancy and I've actually found myself getting quite emotional doing this year's photos there wasn't that many that focused on the bad part of um, the end of my pregnancy and I deleted all of them straight off the bat obviously kept some of the first birth photos but anything else with the hospital I just deleted but I'm finding that going through them are emotional and I'm not entirely sure why and I want to just share that with you just to I don't know just be honest and keep you up to date with how I am dealing with going through the sentimental and as I said it's not the old ones it's this year and the very end of last year that I have struggled with so far